name's Catherine Bow, a professional equine presentation. I'm here today with my friends at Heinegger. I've got a little pony that I'm going to do some washing and clipping tutorials with, so stay tuned. I've been given this dear old girl today to give a bath. She's nice and grubby, she's been in a paddock without rugs. I'm going to use the Cleanse Shampoo today because I do want to do a deep clean for clipping purposes. Also going to be able to show you how we um, get the, the whites nice and bright today as well. So I'm using my Cleanse um, Shampoo. I always use warm water when I'm washing. It really does make a difference. It helps to open up all the follicles in the hair, um, which allows us to properly cleanse and then to properly seal when we're conditioning. So warm water is important. I like to use a small sponge. I like the sponge to be able to pick up all the product and then I like to actually have my fingers around the outside of the sponge to get in and do all my rubbing, rubbing and, and massaging at skin level. So I've got probably just over a litre of water in the bucket here, not a real lot. So for the body, whoop, all I need is a splooge like that, it's, it, it's probably around the 30 or 40 mil mark and that's plenty to go into my bucket to make a foamy mixture. So I've given the body a, a good zhuzhing over. I'm going to put some extra care and attention into the mane and tail. I've still got some bubbles left in my bucket. I like to submerge the tail all the way up as far as I can. And then I'm going to get a little bit more product, probably about a 50 cent piece. And I'm going to work it in to the top of the tail around the dock. So what I often find when people wash tails is they're washing the hair of the tail but not taking the time and energy and focus to actually get in against the skin. When you go to the salon, the hairdressers put a lot of energy into massaging and cleansing your scalp. And the reason for that is healthy hair growth comes from healthy skin. When you've got uh, dirt and dead skin cells and a build-up in the skin, 
That causes a moist environment, which opens up the pores in the skin, which leads to the hair coming out. So if we want to grow thick, luscious tails, we need to keep th that skin on the dock and along the crest of the mane really clean. So it's really well worth taking the time and the effort to get right in against the skin and get that deep clean. And as I do this, I'm working up lots of bubbles which I can then use to work through my tail. So this is a grey tail on a little mare. It's been rolled in and weed in. It probably hasn't seen shampoo for months. I don't expect to get it glowing white in one hit, but I know with this cleanse shampoo, I'm gonna get a drastic change. Some really good deep cleaning. So a lot of time I spend here getting that dock nice and clean to encourage my hair to grow, but more importantly, my hair to stay with nice, clean, tight pores in the skin holding on to our precious tail hair. And then I'm gonna give the mane the same treatment. Little 50 cent blob. So that's bought my shampoo use up probably around the 60 mil mark. Getting in at skin level. I'll, often when I'm doing clients' horses, I see the standard rubbed out bottom half from the rugs and the thick top half. And I say to people, the secret is to keep this bottom half of your mane really nice and clean at skin level. Stop that layer of dead skin cells and dirt building up, which basically causes the skin to let go of the hair. The hair just wants to come away. Often with my own horses, I'll keep the bottom half meticulously clean and I'll neglect the top half to actually encourage a little bit of rub out. And that's how I keep my manes nice and even for plaiting and banding. Now I probably don't need to do this with this little horse, but if I'm show prepping a horse and I've got socks, again, little blob, and I'll actually work. It'll be a good thing for us too to get these legs beautifully clean. so that we can do the best possible clipping job.
Now I'm going to move on to the conditioning using the Restore Conditioner. Again, I've got my little sponge. I've got just over a litre of warm water. Again, just a splodge. Mixed into the water. And I'm just going to sponge it on. Conditioning is really, really important. A lot of horse people don't condition their horses' coats. But it's the same as us. We wouldn't consider shampooing our own hair and not conditioning it. And the reason for that is when we shampoo but not condition, our hair is left with a rough texture. And that rough texture is caused by all the follicles in the hair being left open after the cleansing surfactants of the shampoos have worked their way in there to clean the hair. The conditioning surfactants go in and seal off those cuticles, put oils and moisture back in and seal everything back up again. So if you want really healthy shiny hair, just like us, it's a really important step. So once I've shampooed and conditioned our tail, um, I like to use a detangling um, product just to help with the detangling, with the combing out. Um, I use the product while the tail's still wet and I always wait until it dries before I brush. So Pro Groom have the Pro Magic Spray. So again, no nasties in it. It's just a detangling formula. Puts a little coating on the hair and allows the comb to glide through with ease. So here we have a pony pulled out of the paddock, nice and scruffy and dirty. We've used our Pro Groom and Heinegger products. We have a nice and neat and tidy around the edges, nice and bright and white and clean, and ready to go to a gym gymkhana with her own. What can you say about that? <laughs> That's horses. <laughs>